Hey, this video will show you how to input the chords for Minuet in G using the score editor in Logic Pro. So here uh, we've we've actually inputted the entire melody here, and if you want to see the whole thing, we can use this toggle to zoom out. But here is our eight bars of melody. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put chords. Uh, in the bass clef here to harmonize and support this melody. Now, in the assignment here, down the bottom, I've listed all the primary triads in the key of G major. Here they are. The one chord, G major, the four chord, C major, and the five chord, D major. We also refer to these chords as tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords. And I've written the notes of each chord here as well next to the name of the chord. So um, let's go and try and put one chord per bar uh, into this score editor here. So we're going to start off with the one chord, the tonic chord, which is G, B, and D. Now if I select dotted minimum, that means that the chord that I input will last for the entire bar, three beats. So now that I've got this selected, all I need to do is play that chord G, B, and D. So I play all those notes all together and it will input it here in the bass clef. In my next bar, I'm gonna stay with the tonic chord because you can see the strong notes of D, G, G are in that bar. These are strong notes of the G major chord. So I'm going to play another G major chord. Here in bar three, the strongest note on beat one is an E. Now we only have one chord that has an E in it, and that is the C major chord, the four chord. Um, a strong indication that C would be the best chord to use is that we have this E here on beat one, but then we also have this C on beat two. So I'm going to try here on this bar to input the C major chord. There we go. And then here in bar four, we've got G, G, G. So that looks very much like we're back to our tonic chord of G major. Now here in bar five, we've got a strong C. Okay. Uh, and then we've got some other notes here that are not in uh, the C major chord, but I'm going to try and put a C major chord here. We'll see how that sounds. Here, our beat one is on the note B. So that indicates that we are probably back to our tonic chord now, which is our one chord. So let's input that again. Notice how I don't need to keep selecting dotted minimum because it's already selected. Now, here in bar seven, we've got an A on uh, beat one, and the only chord that has an a, uh, as part of it, is the D major chord, the dominant chord, our five chord. So I'm going to play the D major chord here, uh, and then we're back to G, and we really should finish on our tonic chord here. So let's play this and see what it sounds like. Okay, and that sounds pretty good, so we might leave that there.